so I have a little bit of a free morning this morning although I mean it's what 11:55, so it's really not much more morning left we're getting a late start to the day I have a little bit of a free afternoon early afternoon today and so I thought I would go on a little solo adventure I want to go to Barnes & Noble to get a new book because I have been feeling a little bit uninspired with what is currently on my shelf so I want to try and get something new based on what I've been seeing on booktube. I have a $10 gift card that I also want to use and so I thought I would go treat myself today and then I have a haircut at 2 o'clock. We're gonna go short again. Usually I would grow out the shortness back to long and it would just be a cycle of short, long, short, long. But I really want to embrace a little bit more of the short hair lifestyle, mainly just because I've been seeing a lot of it online. <laughs> But also because I have been a long hair girl my entire life and I want to just switch it up a bit. I put on sunscreen by the way, SPF, protect your skin folks. Um, and so yeah, I want to go back to a little bit of a shorter haircut so it's less maintenance, less work, etc. Yeah. And then I think after that, we're going to go out to eat. We have a reservation at Heidi Lau Hot Pot Place. Okay. Anyways, as I was saying, we have a reservation um, at 545. So that's exciting. I've only been to this one particular hot pot restaurant um and i have only been there once so i'm excited to go back again um no special reason no special occasion just the little treat yourself or treat ourselves moments you know what i'm saying but today is kind of a treat myself day just in general also while we're there i really want to get ice cream because we got ice cream the last time we went to that shopping mall and that place was good so I want to get ice cream again because I love ice cream. Who doesn't love ice cream? Everyone loves ice cream, but that's the plan. So I'm just getting ready um, and then I'm just going to head out. So come on this journey with me. And while I've been talking, I haven't done anything productive. So let's just slap some color on the eyes, shall we? Because that's literally all I do because I think that's the most fun thing to do, eyeshadow. But I am using this Going Coconuts palette from ColourPop. It's just this neutral palette that I have been using. First palette ever. I got into makeup pretty late in the game, late in life, just because if you know anything about me, I am so incredibly lazy. So lazy, in fact, that I don't care about putting colors and stuff on my face because I'm just so fucking lazy that I don't care <laughs> to do that stuff. Um, until one day, something just switched in my brain that said, ooh, I want that. And I want to start putting in the effort to use that, that being this. And so I caved and I got not one eyeshadow palettes, but three eyeshadow palettes, which is completely unnecessary considering how infrequently I use them. But then isn't that just one, the makeup industry as a whole, but then also two, consumerism and capitalism at its finest. But this is the one I use the most often whenever I do actually pick up a palette and a brush. And so that is what we're doing today. Just something simple, one color all over the lid. 
and then a second color, which is also a mid-tone color, honestly, in the outer corners. I'm giving you a tutorial like I know what I'm talking about and I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know what I'm talking about. So don't listen to me. Also, the difference between the end results and the beginning results, imperceptible at best. But this is what we're going for. So let's go. Now, I'm sitting on the floor in the dark because one, it's warm and we're trying to close all the blinds so that the sunlight doesn't get in. And then also two, there are no proper chairs in this apartment <laughs> besides desk chairs and this couch you see behind me. So here I sit on the floor per usual in the dark. But this is the book I got, book haul. I got The Adventures of Amina Al Sarafi by Shannon Chakraborty, aka S.A. Chakraborty, who wrote, um, what is it, The City of Copper, The City of Brass, something like that. That's a trilogy I haven't read yet, but have for a long time wanted to read. But in terms of books by this author, this will end up being the first one I read by her. I've heard really good things about this book. I mean, I watched one booktuber and that one booktuber um, <laughs> read this and said she really liked it. And so I got it too. Cause like I said, I really need just something good to read to jumpstart my love of reading again. Oh, City of Brass. That's what it's called. Anyways, this book is about some kind of sea pirate who comes back after she has already retired for one last adventure. Something about trying to find uh, the daughter of one of her old crewmates. And so they go on one more adventure. She gets the bands back together, all of that stuff. So it just sounds fun, you know, seafaring, pirating, looting, expeditioning, all of that sounds really fun. So I got this one and I think I'm going to start reading it now. It's about one o'clock. My hair appointment is at two. 
So I have maybe like half an hour to read before I need to go. So let's just do that. Let's just chill out before I need to head out again. All right, it's haircut time. It is two o'clock on the dot, so I really need to go. Um, but I'll see you on the other side. I'm nervous. Haircuts are always nerve wracking to me. Um, but I really gotta go. So see ya. And we're back. This is what we're working with. Honestly, nothing dramatic. I took a few inches off of the bottom here. Come this way. Come this way. Get this angle. Look. And we got more trimmed around this bangs area. Bangs, bangs, bangs. But this is it. This is, this is what I got. I, to be completely honest, was thinking of doing more off the bottom, taking more inches off. But this is what we got. And this is what we're working with. And it's good enough for me. But I like it. Again, it's not as dramatic as I thought we were going to do. But I still appreciate the inches off. Like, look at this. Look at this. Like, this looks great. I think it looks great. <laughs> Alright, so I am back home. Sitting in the same place I sat before I left. Nothing has changed. Um, but I have another bowl, not cereal this time, fruit. I have blueberries and kiwis, a little bit of a fruit salad situation going on. And I'm trying to find a new show to watch, a new Korean drama specifically to watch. I just finished Business Proposal, which I really, really liked. That show was a lot of fun to watch. Super cute, super funny. Um, previous to that, I watched our beloved summer that one was really good that one was really cute and then previous to that i watched hometown cha 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 which i also loved so now i'm trying to find a new drama to watch i mean you can see based on the past three i watched the kind of vibes i'm going for kind of like cute rom-com i'm in the middle of watching vincenzo uh but that's more like action crime mafia law drama i want something more lighthearted, um something easy to watch oh <laughs> and i i i don't know Oh, good boy. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I need to start finding another drama to watch. I'm not going to start watching right now. I want to continue reading my book. But um, yeah, I, I need a new K-drama to watch. So we'll see. I need to start looking. Um... And I'll keep you updated, I guess, on what I find and what I select as my next K-drama to watch. 